Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you with us as we worship the Lord. Sit and back and enjoy as we share the good news of the gospel. We invite you to participate along with us as we sing songs of praise, read the Bible, and pray for those in need. The Hour of Harvest prayer team is standing by to take your prayer requests, praise reports, and lead souls to the Lord. You may call us at 606-464-4250 at any time during this program. May this program be a place where you feel accepted, loved, forgiven, and encouraged in the Lord. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. From our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome to our service tonight. We have a real treat for you. We want you to not to miss it, so sit down if you're working and just uh, get ready to have church with us because we have some great singing coming up. And uh, we just praise the Lord together. We can do that because the Holy Spirit's here with us and He's there with you. And so we're going to have a good service and we have phone operators if you need to call, want to call, that'll be fine. So we welcome each of you. We know over and over we hear how you look forward to the program at night because this you feel like this is your church and uh, no longer can get out and go to church like you used to. And so we kind of bring church into your home, your nursing home, your hospital or wherever, jails or wherever you are. We we want to remind you, we want to be a uh, uh, someone to just tell you a little about the Lord and help you to know there's more to life than what we're living now. And the best is yet to come if we have accepted the Lord. So we help, we trust that tonight, if you don't know him, you will make that decision. We have a couple of scriptures and then we're going to have plenty of time for singing. So in uh, Psalms 28, the seventh and eighth verses, and you know, we're all time talking about how the Lord gives us strength. He gives, keeps us going, you know, over the uh, last several months. It's been the Lord having to help me every, every day. And so here we, uh, we have uh, the seventh verse. is that the Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusteth in him. I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices, and with my song will I praise him. The Lord is their strength, and he is a saving strength of his anointed. Psalms 28, 7 and 8, talking once again about how the Lord gives us strength. And you know, that's the, that's the best, most unique part of it all, how he knows each of us as individuals, and he he knows what we need. He knows how to give it to us, and so, and he's always faithful to his word. He's never failed to come to his children when they need it. So, just before we pray, we want to. Uh, there's a couple of families that's really standing in need right now, and that's Joanne Combs and her family. They're all down with the COVID again, and then. Um, uh, Lonnie Levins, that was Don's brother, and uh, he's he's under doctor's care and needs some really, really divine touch right now because he's got some things going on only the Lord can help him with. And so we need to pray for Lonnie Levins. All right, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we have full confidence when we come to you any time we pray, in the middle of the night, the middle of the day, any time, because we know you hear, we know that you answer, and that you love us, and our situation changes, but you never do. And we thank you for that, that we can be uh, at rest in you tonight. And so, Lord, I thank you for the opportunity of getting to speak to all these people tonight, and they, how they love the music, and we ask you to bless our guests and our phone operators, our staff, and everybody involved, Lord. We want to be a witness for you. In Jesus' name, amen. 
All right, tonight we're so happy to have some of our friends from down in uh, Lexington, Kentucky, Joel Fugit and his family, and uh, we'll uh, get to find out more about them a little later. And so the, their phone number is 859-537-1403, and they're from the Claysville uh, Baptist Church. And so right now, let's welcome Joel Fugit and family. good to be here with you tonight. Also, Grace and Joy are with us tonight. Come on up here, girls, and they're going to sing. Let's sing that second verse again, and sing that second verse again, and let them join us on that when I move the Hallelujah Square. them. This is Grace in the pink dress and sitting in second grade this year, seven. And this is Joy in the blue dress. She just turned six years old in first grade and I love them so much. Glad to have them with us tonight. Well, it is always good to be here on WLJC, whether it's me and uh, my family here or it's my mom and my brothers and sisters, the Fugit family, or the old time way quartet, or whatever way I can get on here. I love to sing for the Lord. My life verse is Psalm 40, verse 3, and he had put a new song in my mouth, even praised our God. And many shall see it in fear and shall trust in the Lord. I'm glad that the Lord gave us a song to sing, the song we just sang about moving to Hallelujah Square. 
One of these days, I'm going to move to Hallelujah Square, and I've got a mansion that the Lord's preparing up for me up in heaven, and uh, uh, excited about that, and so thankful for what the Lord has done for us. Well, me and my boys and my wife, we're going to sing a couple more songs at least for you this evening, and uh, this next song is a, is a wonderful song. It's about two little boys, and they're at the store, and they're tempted to do something they know they should not do. These boys, I'm sure you've never been there, boys. I had to sneak a piece of candy, and we've all been there. But the truth is that same temptation grows up, and if we're not careful, it get us. I hope you enjoy this fun song, this good, convicting song, I Would. One whispered to the other with the clerk looking away. Just put it in your pocket, no one will ever know. We'll eat it all before we get back home. Well, that little boy just stared down at the candy on the shelf. You could almost hear the conversation he had with himself. Then he gave the clerk a dollar, took his candy and his change, gave half to his buddy and explained. No matter who's watching, no matter who sees, Jesus in my heart knows how wrong that would be. everywhere we go you cannot leave the Holy Spirit behind there's been times where I've gone to the doctor and there's been time where they said all right to my family you you can't go with him into this operating room but the Holy Spirit could always go right then he's with us everywhere we go and that song talks about the Lord being with us you know sometimes we get this idea that when we go to church the Lord's with us he sees us better do right you're at church 
Better be right here at church, but the Lord's with you right there in, in your living room there this evening. Right there where you are. And let's never forget that wonderful message, I would. Jesus is always with us. Well, this next song is a fun song. I've sung this with my family, my mom and my two brothers for years. And uh, now my boy is going to sing it with me. And uh, a good song, I've got a ticket to paradise. ticket now my ticket was paid for by the blood of my lord jesus christ i can't work my way to heaven i couldn't do it if you could work your way to heaven how much work would you have to do if you could buy your way to heaven how much would it cost but i'm glad that the price was paid by jesus christ and the blood that he shed on the cross for us to know for sure we're on our way to heaven i'm glad I've got that ticket. Well, let me take a minute to introduce my, other, my boys here and my oldest boy here on, on my left, JC. is 11 years old, 6th grade this year. And uh, we were just talking about it earlier. We came here and sang in January. And he's grown about three inches since January, and uh, three inches since January, and he's he's growing taller and smarter, and glad to have him sing him some lead and some baritone, and he'll sing lead on this next verse. And then Jason, Jason is nine years old and in the fourth grade, and singing a lot of high tenor for us this evening, and uh, singing those high notes up there, and uh, proud of him, thankful for him, and their willingness to sing. You know, it, it takes a lot of courage, it takes it takes a lot of work. We've been practicing for weeks uh, on, weeks now on these songs and these four songs. Uh, we we these uh, those three we haven't sung on TV before, and so a lot of practice. And I really appreciate their hard work and uh, serving the Lord and with everything that they have. And I and I'm thankful to have them w with me tonight. And then I'll go ahead and introduce my wife on the piano. Now we wouldn't none of this would be possible without her and uh, her hard work and a lot of uh, 
Well, let's just be, let's be kind to ourselves, patience with us, all right? Putting up with us boys and uh, making sure we sing our right parts and everything and working hard, uh, singing and playing at the same time. And, of course, I don't know what I'd do without her. Uh, she, uh, we've been married 15 years, and she, my beautiful wife, and uh, she's my help me. And uh, the Bible called a woman to be a help me, and I don't know what I'd do without Mine, my completer. And I'm glad to have all my family with me tonight. Well, this next song we're going to sing, uh, sing is a fun song and uh, talks about David and uh, Goliath. But when he went to Goliath, he didn't say, Goliath, look at here, buddy. I brought my slingshot. No, he said, you look at me, but I come to you in the name of the Lord. And David had been with God all day long. And so when David got to Goliath, David did not compare himself to Goliath. He compared God to Goliath. You know, Goliath was a big man, but he was pretty small when compared to God. And this song talks about there'll never be a giant in our lives that God cannot bring down. Sometimes that, like that second verse says, sometimes you do feel defeated. So we can battle torn. Just take courage, my brother, for this battle is not yours. Well, I enjoyed singing with you guys, and uh, in the future we'll do even more and more together, and uh, always thankful for their hard work. Well, this next song I'm going to sing is a really new song for me, and uh, um, I, I really enjoy it. And really enjoy it. And, you know, it talks about all the places that we've been. And, you know, you hear about, you, t you meet somebody for the first time, and you say, well, where are you from? And they'll tell you where they're from, and they can tell you uh, the special things about their hometown or, or, where, or the places they've been. The older you get, they've retired now, and, yeah, I've been to this place, and I've been to this place, and I've been to this place, and I've seen this place. 
And maybe you've seen a Hawaii or maybe you've been to Alaska. Maybe you've been to the Caribbean Islands or all the different places. Maybe you've been here to Beattyville. Maybe you've been uh, to, to the mountain and you've seen the Red River Gorge area and the Natural Bridge and all the beautiful things that eyes can see. There's a lot of beauty that God created in this earth. But the most beautiful thing that man could ever see is to see someone trust Christ as their Savior. This song talks about the greatest thing my eyes have ever seen. You know, I'm thankful for all the blessings that were given here on earth. I'm thankful for WLJC. You know, the privilege to be able to turn on your television and to be ministered to every day in, in song and, and in, in scripture and, and then revivals occasionally and the preaching of God's word. We, we are, we're truly blessed. We're truly blessed of a lot of things, a lot of even good spiritual things that God has given us. But let us not forget that the greatest thing, the greatest thing that can happen here on this earth is for a sinner to see his need of a Savior, to realize the punishment for that sin is death, and worse than that, hell. But to realize that Jesus loved them so much that he died on an old rugged cross to pay for their sins and to see them trust Christ as their Savior and know that they're on their way to heaven. That is the greatest thing my eyes have ever seen.
The greatest thing we can ever see. Well, this next song talks about that same subject. To know, to know that you've been saved, to been born again, forever changed. <laughs> That I'd surely fall when I told them I'd given Jesus my all. But I guess I really can't blame them for having their doubts. For they only knew what I used to be. But oh, what a difference the Lord made. I remember the day my forever was changed. Me, my wife, my kids, we talk about recent and we talk about regularly. The day we trusted Christ as Savior. I never want to forget that day when I was a boy and I trusted Christ as my Savior. I never want to forget it. I never want to forget it. I'll never forget when uh, me and Margaret, who we were talking about before, we're, we're fifth cousins. We're fifth cousins. We're related. And I'll never forget my Granny Barker. My Granny Barker, when she was uh, in her last year, couple years of life, she was in the nursing home, and uh, uh, we would go visit her there, and uh, sometimes she knew me, sometimes she didn't. Sometimes uh, she knew where she was at, sometimes she didn't. But every time, when we began to talk about the day she trusted Christ as Savior, and we began to sing hymns and songs from just a child, Oh, my goodness, she, rem she could remember every one. She never forgot the day that she got saved. 
And there may be a time that you forget some things. But oh, let us never forget the day that we trust Christ as Savior. Well, this next song goes right along with it. I'm thankful for the day that Jesus looked down and he loved me enough to give his life for mine. His heart was broken, mine was mended. He became sin, now I am clean. The cross he carried bore my burden. The nails that held him set me free. His life were mine, his life. for my loving Lord that gave his life for mine. Well, I'm going to sing a song here with my wife, a duet with her. I'm going to walk over by her. And, uh, uh, man, I, I feel better already, a, a little bit more handsome and uh, with my beautiful, beautiful wife here. And uh, this song is one of my favorites. We've been, uh, we love this song, and, and recently this song has meant, meant just a little extra to us. God has been so good to us at our church and uh, we, the Lord, we, we've had some serious, serious needs. Um, our auditorium was too small, and God provided, and the people gave. And, uh, and uh, we were able to raise money, and we, we, we were able to uh, buy new property. And then God gave us the money to build the building, and we got a loan, and then paid off a loan a little bit, and got a loan. And, and then God just... God just almost for a little bit there uh, poured a, 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 a bucket of blessings on us. Uh, and uh, it just, because of the grace of God. And we're so thankful for him. And this song here talks about with all the many miracles that he's done in the past. What makes us think that he wouldn't do it again? I hope you enjoy this song. the 
spies return to tell the others what they had learned. They said for us to win, there's just no way. Still two of them trusted God, Caleb and Joshua. They said, children, bigger than we are, but let's not forget just who it is we serve. With all the many miracles, why don't you think it's possible? With all the many things we've seen, why do you think it's just a dream? With all the things he's done for thankful for the miracles of God and uh, thankful for all he's done for us as a family and uh, this next song we're going to I'm going to sing here it talks about God's grace before I sing this next song I do want to say a little bit more about our church Clays Mill Baptist Church in Lexington Kentucky and uh, just not too far away from here and we have services every Sunday at 165 Nehemiah good Bible name there we got to name the road in 165 Nehemiah way Nicholasville Kentucky 40356 and that's where our church services are Sunday school at 930 church at 1030 church again at 6 p.m. on Sundays and then Wednesday night at 7 p.m. And God has been good to us there at Clay's Mill Baptist Church. And we have room for you. We have room for you. If you're in that area, come give us a visit. Maybe you have family in that area. Maybe they're at the hospital. Maybe they're not saved. You could call our church, and uh, we'd be happy to send someone there to witness to them. We have people in the hospital about every other day there, and uh, visiting people, and we'd be happy to give them the gospel. The church's telephone number is 859-277-6811. One and you can go there. We also have I have two uh, solo CDs and my wife. That song we just sang. Me and my wife sing on one of those uh, CDs there. And you can go to Dr. Jeff Fugate, D R Jeff J F F Fugate F U G A T E dot com, and you can get those CDs there and the Fugate Family CDs and and many more, many more. Well, we're gonna sing this last song for you, and I'm thankful that God's grace is there. 
Sometimes when we can't see his face, we can feel his grace. Let's, as I sing, listen as I sing this last song, that's what grace is for. something in your way a battle you can't win do you struggle day to day with thoughts of giving in there's no reason for despair he has walked this way before with compassion flowing free he's there for you and me that's why grace is for when all hope fades away out in faith and know he's already heard he'll mend your wounded heart peace he will restore his arms are open wide walk through mercy's door that's why grace is when the answer just won't come and your soul cannot be still when it's all been said and done rest in the father's will there's a multitude of sin covered by the blood that poured, blood that cleanses every stain so that none remain. That's what grace is for. When all hope fades away, out in faith and know he's already heard he'll make your wounded heart peace he will restore his arms are open wide walk through mercy's door that's why grace is for. His arms are open wide. Walk through mercy's door. That's why grace is for. That's why grace is for. Thank you uh, so much for all those good songs. Uh, Joel Fugit and family from Lexington, Kentucky, and uh, they're going to come up and join me, and we'll talk a little more. As, as we'll squeeze in as many minutes as we can here at last. Uh, um, so, uh, all right, we from the from the phones here. We have said enjoy the singing so much from Woodford County. That's from Janice. And we have Judy from Laurel County. Uh, she loved the she loved the singing tonight. Uh, Thelma from Madison County. She has a real big family, and she always wants everybody to help her pray. The singers, uh, they they are her church family, and uh, uh, 
to talk about how she enjoys them. Carrie from Corbin is 93 years of age, and she loved the singing, loved the children. It warmed her heart. Amen. So isn't that neat? 93. Amen. So she, uh, she's probably not able to get out and go to church, but no. she she could at home. Uh, Charles, for a one-month-old baby that um, that uh, got some, well, something about a car accident. Um, uh, thank you. Um, from Fayette County, uh, someone is needing uh, healing of her body. Here's a praise report. I'd love to get praise reports. A uh, 23-year-old um, Byron uh, called in by Judy from Round County. Uh, she had called yesterday for prayer. He had, He's had five open-heart surgeries since he was young. His pacemaker was low and they could not change it. They were going to uh, have to have another another surgery. Praise God, they got the battery changed and no more surgeries. She's Amen. praising God and thanking us so much for praying for him. He lives in Florida. And uh, so Judy is also praising God for bringing her through a stroke in March. Amen. Her sister called in prayer for her and she, she didn't know it, but that the her sister had followed up on it and uh, so that's a that's a good report i love to Amen. hear people yes. uh you know talking about grace and how yeah. we never we never run out isn't that good no never runs out I, <laughs> that is good so joanne uh, combs in lexington all of her family has covid right now really sick and then uh, lonnie levens from manchester uh, is under doctor's <laughs> care and um really needs a big healing right now. Terry from Menifee County, uh, a grandson from Sandy Hook uh, uh, from Elliott County, uh, Peggy from London, pray for her stepdaughter and the changes going on. Terry from Madison, uh, Janice and Norman from uh, uh, Wolf County, uh, they both have uh, COVID. Is it bad down there right now? Um, in you? some places it is, it is, yes. Had another one from Montgomery County. Uh, it just says health issues, and a mother from Round County for a daughter. And here's someone that's in the uh, nursing home wants to get apartment, get closer to his children. Linda from Morgan County, uh, her family. Someone in the Lee County nursing home. Here's one said for himself and his ex needs God to move. He thought things were going good, but the enemy is trying to destroy what they have. Mm. Uh, Jasmine County, uh, not feeling well. Uh, Jeremy from Fayette County, uh, from Clay County, loved the singing tonight. Uh, Gladys from Jackson, uh, stomach issues, and uh, loved the singing. All right, Jeremy, another one from Fayette County, and allergies and so forth from Laurel County and Mary. Jackson County, uh, someone has cancer and pray for the whole family. And uh, all right. Well, we we always have we always have a lot of requests, and because we're living in the real world, yes, yes where, we are. where a lot of people are hurting, and they have see a lot of these people have no one. They don't have a good strong church family right. that you know be mm -hmm. a part of, yes. and uh, so uh, uh, if y'all would to take these and pray yes. over them and lead I us will. in prayer, so. <clears throat> Be glad to pray for these, and I'm sure there's many other that didn't mm -hmm. call in tonight and have unspoken requests. And I know me and my wife, we we have uh, unspoken requests, many requests that you know you maybe didn't call in tonight. But let's pray for all these mm -hmm. and ask the Lord, Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to you now, Lord. Uh, so many times we look at everything, Lord, through our eyes, and that's all yes, we can. Yes. But Lord, help us for just a yes, moment yes. in prayer, Lord, to look at things through your eyes, and Lord, may we call mm -hmm. upon you. Lord, the great physician, Lord, yes. to touch. Lord, there's many here in these prayer requests that have a physical ailment. But, Lord, more than that, there, there's some, Lord, that are not saved and they need to trust Christ as Savior. Lord, I pray that you, Lord, would give help them to receive Christ. And, Lord, be with uh, uh, the many that, that mm -hmm. are sick. And, Lord, strengthen them physically, but strengthen them emotionally yes, and mentally in their mind. Yes, and help them, help them to be strong so often. Uh, 
pain mm. medicines come in and they fight us, but Lord, help us to, mm. Lord, to remain strong and trust in you. Mm -hmm. Lord, help us to be faithful, to read your word and let, let it help us and guide us and, Lord, trust in you. Lord, thank yes. you for Sister Margaret here tonight. Thank you for WLJC, and I pray that you put your hand of protection and continue guidance on them, Lord, and use them in a mighty way. We're thankful for them. Bless now, I pray in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, all right. Uh, once again, your uh, church address is... Uh, Our church address is 165 Nehemiah Way, and that's in Nicholasville, Kentucky, just on the Lexington-Nicholasville mm -hmm. line there, just a little bit away there. And we're actually having a revival starting mm -hmm. uh, this Monday, Monday, oh. Tuesday, Wednesday, okay. Thursday, revival every night at 7 o'clock. And uh, look excited about that. Got a lot of people coming in. Mm -hmm. And if you're a pastor in the area, come uh, visit with us Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7 o'clock. It's also Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday at 9 a.m. as well. And mm -hmm. so looking forward to that conference coming up next week at the church there. Okay, well, that's great. All right, your church is on Nehemiah Way. I have a grandson, Nehemiah. And this other address is Andrea. Yes. And I have a granddaughter who lives in Lexington. Yes. By that name. By so that name. I think you've taken all my family, well, just scattered them out here. You know, I t <laughs> yeah, they're, they're good good names and uh, good Bible names. We got to name the street. We're right on Brandon, oh, really? Brandon Road. And yeah. so we oh, bought good. the property and Brandon Road it connects Harrodsburg and yeah. Nicholasville. And Harrisburg Road, Nicholasville Road, and when we brought the property, we were able to name the private drive. Wow. And so we were able to name it Nehemiah Way because we're always building uh, and battling. Oh, Nehemiah was yes, building and yes, battling, yes. building for the Lord and battling the devil. Oh, that is great. Well, well, I really appreciate your, you all coming and sharing with us tonight. And uh, the children, of course, are always very sweet and touches the hearts of people. Amen. Uh, especially our older people, they all love love the children. Uh, okay, so you've got revival coming up next week. Yeah, revival coming uh, up next week, and the Lord's been good to us. We uh, have a Christian school there in Lexington, a college. I'm getting ready to start a daycare uh, in, just, in actually just a few weeks, just a few weeks. But we really have uh, a wonderful ministry, the bus ministry there, that picks up people for church. Yeah. And, uh, and we also have bands. If you live in Lexington and you, and you can't get to church, but you'd like to go to church, we have bands that go to Lexington, Nicholasville, Georgetown, and uh, uh, those areas and pick adults up for church every service. Oh, and so if my. you're in that area and you, you, you'd you like to go, you have the health, but you just don't have the ability for transportation, sure. yes. we have vans that would pick you up too. And you can call the church. And I'll give the church's n uh, number one more time. It's 859-277-6811. And uh, the, they have that here at the television station here. Yes, If, yes, uh, if you miss that and you call in, they could get that for you. And then on Saturday night, your program from your church is yes. aired on uh, on the station here at... Uh, 9, 9, 9 p.m. Okay. Every Saturday night, it's yes. always good. So uh, you can you can keep up with these people. Might have to tune on TV to do it, but yeah. you can keep up with them. Sound like they got more energy than I got. Well, it looks like our time is come and gone. So for, with thanks for this family for sharing with us tonight. But from all of us, we want to say good night and God bless you. Thank you for being part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope that you are truly blessed and encouraged every time you watch. This program is made possible by your contribution and support. Would you become a financial partner of the Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? You can send your pledges of support to the Hour of Harvest, Post Office Box Y, Beattyville, Kentucky, 41311, or visit us online at www.hourofharvest.com. We also accept Venmo and PayPal. Just scan the QR codes to donate. May God bless you.